here we are on Christmas Eve, a special day. I'd like to read from Luke 2, verses 1 to 21 of the New King James Version. This is the story of our Lord's birth. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for him, for them, in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see these th this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. And when eight days were completed, for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Now when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And so we read of the sacrifice of two turtle doves or young pigeons. Mary and Joseph were not to know that just 33 years later, Jesus would die on the cross at Calvary, Golgotha. He died for the ultimate sacrifice. He died for our sins. We can take Christmas Day as a day to celebrate Jesus' birth. Without his life, there would have been no life to sacrifice. So let's pray. So Lord, here we are gathered together to worship you. We read your words in Matthew 26, 26. While they were eating, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body. We thank you for your word and for reminding us that you are the one who gave us such a great sacrifice. You were the lamb. In Jesus' name, amen.
So let's take our little wafer representation from the bottom of the little cup thing and eat it and remember our Lord as we are told to do. Let's pray. Lord, in your word at verse 28 of Matthew 26, we read that Jesus, after he took a cup of wine and gave thanks for it, said, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Lord, it's a short sentence, but it means everything. We are reminded by the words of the covenant, which can save us all. We are reminded of your sacrifice. We remember the sacrifices that were given back in the Old Testament and now under the New Covenant, we know we are able to accept the great promise and sacrifice of your son, Jesus, who was born into our world in Bethlehem. We thank you for listening to our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray this. Amen. So let's take a drink from the little cup, representation of wine, the great sacrifice and remember just what that means. <laughs>